Mighty God, we thank you for the great things that you have done for us. Thank you for the great things that Jalabara talaba soto, Riki talaba karaba soto, Rabakara masanda raba soto, Rendere boko shande, Resalaba katalaba soto, Mighty Father, Ebrake talabasa, Mighty King, Imoko shanda, Rakatalaba soto, Retere bo saprahende lebosa. Father, we worship you tonight, mighty God. We give you praise and glory and honor. We give you praise and glory and honor. Randa raba sopro kotana, reketi raba sopro koshata, reketu raba sapra handa lebosa, zika tanda lebosa, raba karaba sanda, reketu raba sanda. We honor you tonight, mighty Father. We honor you tonight, King of Kings. He shall abara te lebosa. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy of the glory. You are worthy of the honor. You are worthy of the thanks. There is none like it unto you. There is none that can compare with you. Jesus, you are worthy to be praised. Mighty Father. Come on, as you're entering the throne room tonight, as you're coming into the place, praise God, of where the Spirit of God is, come in with your mouth filled. Speak the language of the Holy Spirit. God is about to do something great for you. He's about to do something magnificent for you. Something is shifting in your favor. Something is turning in your favor. Whatever you are going through, your story shall change tonight. Your story shall change tonight. Zubra sabra karaba sabra kanda roko shaba kataba rataba sata. Come on, as you pray tonight, uh, pray with power. Praise God. I want to invite those of you that are in on Zoom, uh, those of you that are all over the world, wherever you are, come right now. Come on to the throne room. Uh, praise God. Those of you that are joining me on social media, God bless you. But those of you that are praise God, uh, that can open your mouth. Uh, he said, enter your gates with thanksgiving. Uh, enter your courts with praise. Zebra, uh, come with power. It's time to enter. The arena with power. It's time to come into the stadium of faith with power. Zabra Kataraba. Zabra Kataraba Sota. Zabra Katera Mosata. Zabra Kataraba Sata. Rosa Baratarabasa. Robo Sabrahanda. Rabba Sapraha. Zebra Ketobasa. Makaraba Sada. Rakatarabasa. Rosa Brahandeleo. Rosa Brahanda Labo. Resetinibosa. Randalaba Supe. Ziketo Masaya. Riselemosata. 
Zabanda Rabasa Tarabande Zobro Sabaka Tarabasa Rasa Prehinde Lebosa Rabaka Narabaka Setina Rabaka Tarabasata Roko Sabaka Tarehe Rosa Bohon de Lebosa Prende Lebosa Prakata Rate Lebosite Zabanda Rabasata In the mighty name of Jesus Rabo for your glory God Let there be mighty deliverance Let every person that is bound tonight be set free. Let every person that is in chains and cords and feathers and ties in their minds, let them be delivered tonight. May you be delivered tonight. May you be set free tonight. May tonight be the night of your delivery. May the night be the night, praise God, of your breaking forth in God and in the things of God and in the realms of the Spirit. Zabra Karaba Saprakata, Rikikitora Ba Saprakata, Rabakata Ba Sandar, wherever you are tonight, I prophesy over you. I prophesy over your life. I prophesy over your well being that this is your time of change, that this is your time of a turnaround. I prophesy over you today in the mighty name of Jesus that today will be the beginning of a great testimony. Of a what? A great testimony. Of a great testimony of the working of God in your life. I prophet, prophesy it. I speak it. What is prophesying it? Why are you saying you prophesy it, prophetess? Because prophecy is to foretell, praise God, and to foretell, praise God, this is what God is getting ready to do. It, regardless of where you are, regardless of what you're going through. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Prophecy is now saying and dictating what God is saying to you. It is now what? Dictating it. It is now saying it. Praise God. Just as God see it, it's us now saying it to you. Are you understanding? Are you hearing the words coming out of my mouth tonight? Please let me know if you're hearing me. Praise God. Everywhere, wherever you are over the world tonight, wherever you are in the nations tonight, I want to declare tonight is your night. Today is your day. That things are going to change in your favor. Things are going to turn around for your good. Praise God. You know the word of God says this. Listen to me. It says all things work together for good to them that love God. To them who are the called according to his purpose. All things work together for good to them who are the called according to his purpose. Praise God. And so, yes, we're talking to you today. If you've been called, if you've been chosen, if God has his hands on your life, then I told you, praise God, in one of our prayer sessions, to expect adversity. To expect what? Adversity. Somebody said, well, I came to Jesus so that I can, I can come out of ad adversity. Praise God. Well, I'm just telling you tonight. I came to tell you the truth. Praise God. I mean, I keep to tell you what the Lord says. Because there's not many mighty that are called. Not many noble that are called. But everyone who has been called of God. And who has been chosen by God. Selected, handpicked. Somebody say, prophetess, how do I know? Praise God. The difference is just being called and chosen. Many are called. But then only a few are chosen. Which means that the Spirit of God chooses who he wants to use in a particular way and then now you as the person you have to align yourself and you have to align your life to come into that calling or that chosenness so people can either choose or not to choose they can either accept or they can reject the fact that God is selecting them to do something perfect or to do something special am I talking to you tonight but in that choosing Know tonight that there may be some bruising, that there may be some what? Some bruising. There may be some challenges. There may be some tests. There may be some trials. And there may also be some tribulations. So tonight, God bless all of you, wherever you are, you're coming in. 
praise God hallelujah praise God wherever you are hallelujah wherever you are hearing my voice praise God amen I pray that you can hear me crispy clear praise God amen welcome amen tonight is a prophetic moment praise God and I'm speaking to you praise God under the divine auspices of the Spirit of God because I believe that more than ever before that this is a time for change in your life I believe that more than ever before this is a time that there is supposed to be a turnaround that something is something different has got to happen to break you out of the cycle that you've been going through all along. Please, did you hear that? Something has to change. A radical shift has to happen, praise God, in order to break you from out of the cycle, the continual cycle. And some of these cyclic demons, they have you going around in a circle. And you keep seeing the same events all the time. At a certain time of the year, you see the same thing happening to you. At a certain time of the month, a certain thing keeps happening to you. These are demons that have you on a cycle of repetitive failure and downfall. Tonight, I want to declare, hope is here. Praise God. Hope is what? Hope is here. So welcome, amen, praise God, those of you that are joining us, our Bible school, some of our Bible school students are with us tonight, God bless all of you, praise God, Bible school students, I want to invite some of you, even if you're on Zoom, to come on over to social media, and I want to give you the liberty to chat in that in the YouTube chat with us tonight, praise God, amen, so we can be in communication, and I want to bounce things off to you tonight, and maybe I could get some great responses, because our Bible school students, students are scholars of the word praise god they're growing they're being groomed in the things of god and so amen it will be very interesting to hear from some of you tonight praise god so go on over to youtube praise god amen if you have a dumb phone and you and you cannot multitask with that food then i still invite you to go over to youtube amen praise god if you want to go over to youtube you have the liberty to do that tonight please i it will be so good also for me to know where amen you are watching us from praise god amen let me know which city where where are you watching us from tonight where will you be participating praise god on zoom drop it in the youtube chat praise god let me know your city tonight wherever you're going to be tuning in from georgia amen that's the first one i saw popped up amen who was that from georgia amen praise god amen amen sister tashia god bless you mommy god bless you amen praise god let me know where everybody is watching from tonight where you're tuning in from praise god amen orlando florida praise god amen everywhere you're tuning in tonight praise god i want to know i want to see Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Jamaica, Chicago, the BVI. Praise God. South Florida, Trinidad. Praise God. Maryland. Amen. Praise God. Amen. The Lloyd's Cleaning Company in Nassau, Bahamas. Amen. God bless you all. Amen. Praise God. May God bless your business. May he prosper your business. Praise God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Praise God. Everybody is waking up now. Praise God. And it is flying. Arizona. Praise God. Nassau, Bahamas again. Praise God all over the world. Praise God, Jamaica, Jamaica, Philadelphia, Barbados. Praise God, amen, Bermuda, England, Virgin Islands, amen, Georgia again, Georgia again, Birmingham, Memphis, New York, amen. Praise God, all of you, wherever you're watching from tonight, Virginia. Praise God, amen, may the blessings of God be with you. Praise God, and may the Lord keep you, amen, and make his face shine upon you. Do me a favor, and I also see some of our, uh, what you call us again, our YouTube partners. Are they the ones showing up in green still? green these are these are youtube partners praise god they stand with us amen and they they are part of our team amen but i want you guys to do me a favor can you send the link out to a few people okay, tonight me, amen praise god i'm hearing something coming through praise god amen but listen send the link out send it out to everyone tonight and let everybody know praise god that prophetess amen i know you guys haven't seen me on a thursday night for a long time praise god that's because i've been doing bible college amen with my students amen so but i'm glad to be here tonight and i'll be just for a short moment i want to just speak something the lord has been laying on my heart and i've been sharing it with the bible students but i want to share it with you tonight because of the times that we are in i think it's important that i get to share this 
with you all tonight so that some of you can benefit from it and you can even grow in Jesus Christ's name. Praise God. Father, we bless you. We worship you tonight. We honor you. We adore you. So I'm giving you a minute to just send that link out, giving you a minute to share because what I'm about to share with you tonight, you need to hear it. And some people that you know need to hear it. I'm talking about, praise God, how to ascend, praise God, or how to increase in spiritual ranks, amen, in spiritual ranks, praise God, amen, so I wanted, wanted everyone just send the link out, let everybody know, let all your family know, praise God, that God has a word for them tonight, amen, and I'm going to show you how to break free from the from the clutches of evil, from the clutches of darkness, praise God, amen, so that you can begin to increase, praise God, amen, so to God be all the glory, Father, we worship you tonight, we bless your name. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you. We honor you. Praise God. We honor you. We bless you. Shabaraba shitaraba. Ribiki shabarahasata. Rabakarama soprokutura masata. Jabandirimo shitaraba sata. Rabakataraba soprokita. Zilema toraba satena masoto. Ramamama shipoko ribasaya. Etarama soprohesata. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, for the glory of God tonight. Father, let your presence fill this room. Let your glory fill this place. And let every life be changed for good. And let them be increased for good. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen, and amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So I want to get right into, praise God, amen, this session tonight. And I want to speak with you what the Lord has spoken to me. Praise God. I want to speak that to you because I want you to gain a greater level of understanding. So keep it light on the keys. But I want it to be where, amen, I'm, he, he can control. I want it to be where you get an understanding, a better understanding of what the Spirit of God is saying in this hour. Failing to get an understanding will leave you as a believer disadvantage and when i say that what i mean is if you don't understand the seasons and the timing of god praise god amen it doesn't matter what church you go to you can go to the biggest church in the world you can go to the biggest church in america you could be under what is quote unquote the most powerful bishop the most powerful apostle but if there is not an understanding of the seasons and the times that we are living in, you will still be disadvantaged as a believer. And so what the Spirit of the Lord is saying that I want the people, I want my people, I want my sons and daughters to come into, praise God, the revelation. I want you to come into the revelation and the understanding of first of all the seasons and the time that we are in, praise God. And then I want you to come into the understanding, praise God, of what is expected of you as a servant of God, as a son of God, praise God. Now, when I use the term son, you understand that I'm speaking plural for male and female, man and woman, praise God. See, because the word of God declares, amen, in the book of Romans, that we are the sons of God. And it does not yet appear what we shall be, but when we see him, we shall be like him. So what is your, what is your goal? As a, as a person in this world. So I'm going to start tonight. I'm not going to be too long. And then maybe tomorrow morning, praise God, in the, in the early broadcast, I will just continue with part two. Praise God, of tonight. Praise God. But it's so important because this is the reason why so many people are frustrated. You have not come into the reality of who you are in God. And so that now, if you don't know who you are, it's just like somebody that is going through life and don't really know who their father is. The period and time of not knowing who their father is, praise God, or who their parents are, can lead that person's life to a life of frustration. So we have seen this over a period of time where many young children were growing up and some people thought that this was their father, only to discover that was not their father, this is their father here. And so, but the period of not knowing for sure who your father is, Anyone can attest to this, and I can promise you it to be true. That is a stage of like, like total darkness. Because you, everyone wants to know, I want to know who I came from. I want to know what? Who I came from. 
who has born me or who gave birth to me or who has contributed to me being here. So this now is a dilemma in the natural, but it's also in the spiritual. If you don't know who your spiritual father is, the world will give you a false identification, a false ID of who God is. And you will begin to live what is called underprivilege. Uh, are you hearing me tonight? You will begin to live under privilege. You will live like a nomad or a normal woman. You will live, praise God, beneath your means. Because now the father is supposed to leave an inheritance for his children and his children's children. Praise God, understanding the estate or the legacy of your family, it gives you a sense of value. And it gives you, it should give you a sense of value and it should give you a sense of worth. Now, some people, when they find out who their father is, they'd be like, oh gosh, that joker, you know, what a waste of time. What a waste of air. But then at the same token, you still have to pick yourself up and start living because now you are not ceasing to grow. You're still growing. Did you all get that right there? Did anybody get that? You still have to bear then yourself in and still begin to push yourself to grow. Because at the same time, you are no, you're not going to just drop down and die because you find out who your father is or who your father is not or who your mother is or where you came from. No, you have to chum yourself together and start living. So what is God saying tonight? I, he said, I want to be your father. I want to be your father. And you are my son. You have been adopted, you've been grafted rather by the blood of Jesus Christ amen, into a divine kingdom, into a royal family. And because you've been adopted into this royal family, you need to find out everything, the history about this family, the legacy about this family. What is this family all about? What is the mission statement of this family? Who is, if my father is the king, where is his kingdom? Where is this kingdom? What do I have access to in the kingdom? So, so people that call themselves Christians, they have no idea what they have access to. So that's why God is saying that you are no Christians, you are sons. You have been engrafted into sonship. So the angels, even when they look at us, they want to even wonder, hey, this, who are these men that you are so mindful of them? And the son of man that you are visiting them like this. And all of this power and dominion and authority you've given to man, but man does not know what to even do with it. Can you imagine somebody give you access to their entire kingdom, their entire domain, their entire platform? They give you a whole runway and they say, go, take it away, Charlie. But you don't even know what to take away. And it is because now you have not yet come into the realization or the revelation of who you are. So what is the Spirit of God saying to you tonight, people of God? The Spirit of God has said, I want you to understand. I want you to come into the divine revelation of who you are as a son, who you are as a child of God, who you are, praise God, amen, with the, with the citizenship from the commonwealth of the kingdom of heaven. Are we getting this tonight? Are we getting this? So people are living under their privilege. Praise God. People are getting under their privilege. Praise God. I hope my students are already on. Amen. YouTube. I hope they're still, they're, they've gone over to that. Praise God. Amen. Because I want to hear from some of them tonight. And I want, I want to see where they get it. So there were some basic principles. And I hope they're all over there by now. Because there are four things I began to tell them earlier. To identify that they are truly a part of the kingdom of God. There are four basic things, four basic principles that they, that they should use to identify that they are a part of the kingdom of God. Praise God. So I want to see them to start dropping it in the chat. I give them a hint. The first thing I told them that the kingdom of heaven is what a mindset is a mindset. The kingdom of God is built on a mindset. Praise God. Amen. Let's see the first student that's going to put it in the YouTube chat. It is what a mindset. Amen. Then the next one is a what? It is what a, 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 a lifestyle. Then the next thing I tell you, it's a what? A paradigm. And then, amen, it's a culture. These are all things that make up the basic things that make up the kingdom of God in which we are part of. But now, it's not just any old kind of mindset. The kingdom of God is not just any old kind of mindset. So the kingdom of heaven is where God's throne is. 
It is, and it is, we said it's in the third dimension. Praise God. Amen. Satan, when he was kicked out, is set up his throne in what is called the second dimension or the atmospheric heaven. So he's called as Satan is the what? The prince of the power of the air. Praise God. Amen. And then we, we as, as, as humans, we live in the, in the domain of earth. But the kingdom where we are from is a, from a heavenly realm. Praise God, and it is not in existence. Praise God, and we don't see that the 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 the, the kingdom. Praise God, existent. Amen. Through the corner where you live, or whatever. So what has to happen is we have to now be transformed by the renewing of our mind, according to Romans chapter twelve. Amen. To be what transformed by the renewing of your mind. So that's why we say the kingdom is a mindset. It is a, a, a type of mindset that you begin to adapt. Or maladapt to that causes you to show that you are a citizen of the kingdom of God. Are we getting this today? So it is a mindset, a set mind that has been transformed, that has been renewed, that is made up of, of, of praise God, of confidence in God, that is so resolute, that is so resolved, that is not easily shaken or not easily broken, that you're not under the control of the dictates of a world system, of this cosmos, of this failing and phasing, fizzling cosmos, whereas Satan is now declared, God of this world. Are you understanding me? So what am I showing you today now? So as a, as a son of God, the spirit of God is saying now, you cannot just be existing here. You cannot be walking around here like a planetarian. Like I'm just walking around here. I'm just a tree. I'm just a plant. You are greater than the tree. But because the, the tree knows who he is. The tree has a full identification as to who and what he is. The tree is not trying to say, oh, you know, I just wish I was a fish. Oh. No, the tree knows who he is. The fish knows who he is. The fish was placed into an environment that is called water. And the fish have enough sense to know, if you all take me out this water too long, I am done. I don't have a lungs. I have gills. And if you try taking me out this water too long, I am finished. So the fish, what if you take a fish out of the water? You think a fish is fighting to stop from being eaten. No, the fish is fighting to get back into the water. Because that's his, that's his environment. That was the place he was created to be. Are you getting me today? The plant, if you pull the plant up out of the ground, the plant is crying as you are pulling it up. Because A, he's not afraid of just being eaten. He's afraid that A, if you keep me out of this soil, for too long, I am eventually going to die. And you are getting this today. So every beast of the field, every fish of the ocean, every fowl of the air, everything that is creeping, crawling, everything in the physicality realm knows where they are supposed to be attached. It is now only man, human, that God created according to Genesis 1 in his image, in his likeness, that have a difficulty that have a complexity of understanding. If you stay out of the realms of the spirit too long, you're going to die. Amen. Oh Lord Jesus, help me Holy Spirit. If you stay out of the realm, out of the presence of God for too long, you're going to what? Die. Die. I didn't hear you. Die. Die. You're going to die. You're going to dry up. You're going to shrivel up. Praise God. Those of you that are just joining us tonight, please pray. Please come in quickly because we have a very short window tonight. But I'm speaking to you tonight about, praise God, how to increase in spiritual rank. Praise God. Amen. How to increase. This is the first part. Amen. Tomorrow morning. Amen. In our morning broadcast, our 6 a.m. prayer, 8 a.m. broadcast, we will continue with it. But tonight, I'm just getting this into your spirit. So the reason why people are failing, amen. Can I continue, guys? Amen. The reason why people are failing and falling out is not because, amen, you are just financially poor or you are financially bankrupt or, you know, I don't have enough money. Prophet is if I at least had a million dollars, you know, I would be more happier. No, you won't. You will be just as miserable as you are right now because all you'll be thinking about is, hey, anybody trying to hail you? Let's see, see that? They tried to hail me. They want to get some of my money. You wouldn't even sleep because you never had a million dollars before. You'll be up all night with two fake guns in your hand. <laughs> Are you getting what I'm saying tonight? Yeah. So the thing that God is after is you coming back into a revelatory realm. 
For you coming back into increase in knowledge. So the kingdom of heaven, give me them again. What are they? The kingdom is a mindset. The kingdom of heaven is a mindset. It is a mindset. It's how you think. That's why we say it's also, praise God, a mindset. It is a lifestyle. It is a culture. It is a paradigm. Now, why do we call this a paradigm? Because a paradigm is speaking to your belief system. How you see what you see. Did you get that? A paradigm is speaking to how you see what you see. So we always use this analogy. If I take this glass of water and I hold it up in front of, in front of you tonight, most people will say, ah, oh, providence, the glass is half empty. Amen. The glass is half empty. Oh, look at that. The glass is half empty. And that's how you see it. That's how you see it. But in the eyes of someone else that is looking through the eyes of the spirit, they will say the glass is half full. Now, why would that person say the glass is half full? Knowing that in the physicality, it looks half empty. It's all based on a paradigm. It's based on a mindset, a set mind. So a paradigm is how you see what you are seeing. Now, take that same word paradigm. It's how you see it. It's how you view it. It is a concept. So the kingdom is also conceptualization. The kingdom of God is concept. It's built on conceptualization. How have you conceived what was just given to you? How do you view? How do you see it? And so the reason why people have not been able to, th to accomplish anything great, it is because the way they conceptualize things. People, I'm sure you understand what I'm saying. So most people see the glass half empty. To an optimistic type person, they say, huh, that's what I never had. The glass is half full, prophet. Hey, but hey, no, how could you be saying it's half full and it's half empty? No, no, no. It's how I see it. Because it's something I didn't have. It's something that I can work with. So the paradigm is dealing with now a higher revelation of thought. The kingdom of God, people of God. Oh my God, this is so good. Am I helping anybody in this room? Somebody talk to me. Talk to me. Praise God. Amen. I want to bless somebody before the night is over. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So what am I saying tonight now is that the kingdom has to do with, it's, it's your attitude. It is, the, it is a lifestyle. It's how you live. It's how you conceive things. It's how you conceptualize it. It's how you gravitate towards it. It's how you view things in the spirit. It's how you receive it. It's how your, it is your attitude towards the things of the spirit. So people that are pessimistic, they are always seeing things negatively. They're always seeing things negatively. They're always seeing things what in the negative. They see it as, ah, it's no good. Ah, it's not wicked. Oh, this don't make no sense. These are negative people. So they never can see the good in anything or anyone. In fact, when the dust settles and the settling of the dust, they are their own public enemy number one. If you ever try to give anyone a compliment that is a pessimistic person, you say, ah, I love your pants though. They say, huh, this old pants, you know. <laughs> I got this from my elder brother. I got this from my cousin. They start telling you where the pants came from. And they said, this old thing here, this, see, this is have a hole right here. You never even saw the hole, though. But now because they are what? The way their minds are wired up. They talk to you about the negativity of things more than the spirituality of things. The Spirit of God said to me, he says, listen. He says, Matty, I want you to tell my people tonight. I want you to tell my sons and daughters that it's time to up their spiritual cl class. Up their spiritual class. Up their spiritual level. Am I talking to you tonight? Please, let me know who, I, who am I talking to. Praise God. Amen. Give me some of these people I'm talking to tonight. Praise God. I want to see who I'm talking to. Praise God. Amen. Let me know if I'm talking to you tonight. It's, it's you I'm talking to so that I can focus my attention on you tonight. Praise God. Amen. Because if you don't know what God is saying in this hour, you will be disadvantaged. You will never see yourself sitting in a high place. People will tell you, ah, you are just going to be this. You're just going to be that. And God has said, no, I see something bigger for you. I see something greater for you. I see you at another level. I see you at a place of great honor. This word is for somebody right now. In the name of Jesus. 
Hallelujah. So God bless you tonight, Kevin. God bless you, Jackie. Hallelujah. God bless you, Alicia. Praise God. Amen. Dion said, yes, prophetess, you are helping us. Praise God. Amen. Somebody, amen. Sonia saying, my God, my God. Praise God. <laughs> amen. Praise God. Amen. Julian. Amen. All of you tonight. I'm talking to you, Monica. Yes. Every last one of you. Teresa. Bless you tonight. God bless you. Praise God. Amen. And if you're loving it, send me some hearts. Amen. And fire. You know, those are two things I love. Praise God. Now, notice what color I'm wearing tonight. It is green and silver. So if you're sending me hearts, I want green and red. Amen. Praise God. No yellow hats tonight. Amen. Praise God. <laughs> so watch it now. Thank you. Thank you very much. So God, where was I? The Spirit of God is speaking to you about you. And he's saying to you, if you stay, watch this now. If you stay at the same level of your problem, a devil will come right there with you and kill you at that same level. If you stay at the same level where your problem originated, listen to me, you will never be able to solve your problem at the same level in which it started. Can I repeat that for you tonight? If your problem started at the same level, you will not be able to, to solve it at the same there, there is a time and season in your life where you have to shift ranks. Where you have to shift ranks. And once you shift rank, you become resolved. You become respected and established in that new level. So people that are relegated and staying at the same level, you will discover they don't grow, they don't increase, they don't, they don't overcome nothing. They, all they talk about is, yeah, you know, one day, someday, things are going to get easier. And they just keep singing these same sounds. You know, I, I, you know, I'm tired of the hard knock life. And you hear them rapping all these rap. I'm tired of the miserable life. And they're just rapping all these things. And they're not moving. But if you're really tired of the miserable life, you will get yourself a newspaper, a classified ad. And you will start to say, wait a minute. I need to get from under this hood. <laughs> Am I talking to somebody? But God is now in the business of transitioning. He's in the business of lifting and elevating people. You are a part of that elevation tonight. You are a part of that lifting tonight. Am I talking to you, brother? Am I talking to you, sister? So, what, how, prophetess, do I increase? Why is, do I need to increase in spiritual rank? I already told you. The devil at that level already figured you out. And he already knows what time you get up. He already knows what time you go to sleep. He knows what you like to eat, cornflakes with cold milk. He already knows all of this. And so they're going to try to kill you right at that level. Your adversary is going to try to restrain you and bind you at that level. Because why? Satan is not about, amen, allowing born-again believers, praise God, sons of God, to elevate and go anywhere. So he keeps you tied to an old mindset, to a demonic stronghold. It keeps you tied and bind to an old culture. Culture is the way you live, right? It's your music, it's your entertainment, it's what you like, it's the type of clothes people wear. So certain countries you go to, you will see what their cultures are. Their cultures are certain colors. All of these are tied to what is called culture. The type of music they listen to is a part of their what? Their culture. So, now, so the culture, then there is what? A, a paradigm. I go back to paradigm. So, a paradigm is a divine revelation that the Spirit of God can give to you on anything, on any subject matter, on any area. A, a, a what? A paradigm is a revelation. You could have read, you know, Apostle was sharing with us, and he was saying how, he read this particular scripture, I think it was in Deuteronomy, all this time, all these years. And he said, it was not until the Lord said to him one day, hey, you're reading this thing, but look at this again. One shall chase a thousand, two shall put ten thousand to flight. And he said, is, is that really what that's saying? Uh. And the Holy Spirit said, no, look at it again. He said, why can you not even discern that it's about to rain? And if it is raining, can you not even discern how to get out the rain? Something is wrong with that. And then the scripture goes on to say, my Lord, if one demon, one evil person could chase a thousand of you, quote unquote, Christians, and two could put 10,000 of you to flight, something is wrong with that. 
And so he began to he began to share this revelation over a period of time. And he was saying, it's just where church people are. They are in a place where they are happy-go-lucky. They are happy and they, some of them seem to be comfortable in a drought. Comfortable in a dry place. Comfortable in a famine. Tonight, I pray in the name of Jesus that the Spirit of God sent me to this altar to provoke some of you to get out of your dryness. To come out. Am I talking to anyone here? Please. Uh, I'm looking for someone to bless an idol. Oh, Jesus. So he said, I am, he said, it's time for people to pack their load and to get out of the place of dryness where they are. I don't want to stay dry. I don't want to be dry spiritually. I don't want to be dry emotionally, mentally, financially. No, I want to take over the world for Jesus. I want to take over the world for Jesus. If somebody is going to know me, I want them to know me, praise God, as amen, a.k.a. take over for Jesus, woman. Okay, now you're waking up. Amen. Finally, Pringles is waking them up. So God is saying that I want to do this for you, but I want to do it in such a way where you're no longer going up and coming down and being defeated. I want you to have what sustained growth. So, spiritual rank, increasing in spiritual rank. If you're going to increase then, there has to be a, a paradigm a revelation now revelation is no good to you if you don't have a shift so what has to happen is you need to have a what a paradigm shift a what paradigm shift information people can get information all the time but information is no good if there's no application are you getting this now so prophetically god is speaking things to you through the scripture through the mouth of his, his pastors his apostles his prophets every day but you can write all you want to write but if that word does not translate from writing to now applicating it's a it's a waste of time so that's why the scripture says faith without works is dead james chapter 2 says in 7 8, faith without works is dead and he says show me your faith by your works. i will show you my faith by my works so don't just talk about this thing you have to shift you have to take now the ship paradigm ship when revelation comes it means to take retroactive action it means to do what take what retro which means you begin to act right away that's why when we pray for people in our service and we pray for them to come out of a wheelchair crutches or whatever or they have a back problem we say get up and walk Move. Do something you could not do before. Because if you don't do what you could not do before right then, if you say, I'll just wait till I reach home. You know, I'll wait till the wheelchair reach back into my house. Never. You will never leave that wheelchair. I'm just talking to someone tonight because the Spirit of God wants me to tell you that it's time for you to ascend. It's time for you to what? To ascend, to increase in spiritual rank. Staying at a low level means the devil is going to kill you right there. Am I talking to you? Staying at a low place is going to cause you to be easily detectable because you've been at that level too long. And because you've been there too long, witches have figured you out. Demons have figured you out. You're still in your dreams, you're falling. In your dreams, you're still running from something and you don't know what you're running from. Hallelujah. 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 So those of you that are just coming in, we're talking about increasing in spiritual ranks in God and in what? The things of God. So the Spirit of God is speaking a word to you tonight. And the word he's speaking, he's saying it's time to increase in spiritual rank. In spiritual rank. You have to up your game. You have to now increase your, your level of participation in the things of the spirit and in the kingdom of God in the realms of the spirit so demons are also on the same prowl demons are on the same what prowl. on the same prowl they're on the same assignment they're trying to get increased in ranks too yeah. demons every day a demon comes into existence he said now today I must take over the world he's thinking I need to find another human that I can possess that I can test, that I can steal from, that I can bind up and tie up, that I can 
drag to the gates of hell and I can put in depression every day a demon gets up. He's thinking in his mind, not that he goes to sleep, but he's thinking, I wonder which one of these weak human beings who call themselves Christmas, Christians, whatever you call yourself, that I can rest and ambush today. Are you all hearing me? Oh, Lord Jesus, that's too much. They are trying to figure out how they can arrest some, some weak human. And then Jimmy and Timmy and all of them, Limmy them, they say, see that one right there? Yeah, I got him. You, you don't got to worry about him. I got him. I got him on lock, stock, and barrel. Oh, you see this one right here? I got this one. This one is a fornicator. This one right here, it, this one, he is a glutton. He eats from sunrise to sunset. <laughs> you get me? <laughs> this one is a sleeper. Hey, don't worry. When do, just begin to pray, you're going to see his eyes is going like this. He's, he's a sleeper. This one is a sleeper. Are you all hearing me tonight? The demons have a resume on Christians, on people who are supposed to be sons of God. The demons have a rap sheet. And they, on the rap sheet, they say, ha, ah, there you go. Everything is written. Everything there, uh huh. Yeah, that's them. Because why? You have not increased your rank. They have figured you out. They have studied you. They have studied you. Humanology. They have studied you. They got your name and they got your number. They have your date of birth. Now God is saying, you don't need to stay at the same level and allow yourself to be killed. You know, I said something just recently in one of our sessions. I don't know if you all remember this. And I said, in the spirit realm, there's a law and it's similar to the laws of the jungle. And it says, kill or be killed. Eat or be eaten. Are you hearing me? Fight or be beaten. <laughs> so why am I saying this then? Because in the spiritual context of things, either you are a warrior or you are a wimp. Nobody likes to hear those words, but I have to tell you the truth. In the spiritual context of things, you either viewed in the spirit as a warrior or you're viewed as a wimp. You're seen as somebody with power or you're seen as somebody who has no power. You're a warrior or you are a wimp. And God has said, I want to call you to warriorship. I want to call you where? To warriorship. I want to call you the warriorship. Somebody clap your hands and give God a praise. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. So either you are a warrior or you are a wimp or you are in control or you are being controlled. So demons have the capability of either controlling manipulating and controlling people and also they have the power and an ability some way to influence so if you want to even find a definition for demons or evil spirits these are some of their definitions amen a demon spirit is a spirit that has the ability and their desire their appetite is to what to control to manipulate, praise God, to alter and even influence the well-being of people that call themselves born again. Is this, the demons pride themselves in having nobility, nobleness, power and strength to manipulate, to control and to influence the life of believers, of people. From a child, a demon will go after a two-year-old child, a seven-year-old child, to try to influence the mind of that child, to cause that mind to enter a type of thinking and a way of stubbornness or unruliness so that till that child begins to grow into, praise God, what the influence is being given to that child. So that's why it's so important now, if as a born-again believer, if you're going to increase in rank, you have to deal with your mindset. You have to deal with how you see things. Either you see it half empty, half full, you see good or evil. How do you see God? How do you view God? Do you view God as powerful? God is God. God is the omnipotent God, the all powerful God. There's no God like this God. How do I view God? And then, what type of culture am I creating in my life? Am I going to be known for this or known for that? Am I going to be known to be a party or am I going to be known to be a worshiper? 
Are you all getting me? Am I going to be known as a prayer warrior, as an intercessor? Are you going to be known as an intercessor? Or are you going to be known as joker one, joker two, joker three? Smoker one, smoker two. Are you getting me? So you begin to come into a culture, into a formation, into a lifestyle. And then all of a sudden now, because you're trying to find your way to change your spiritual rank, all of a sudden now, you've created a mindset, a culture, a paradigm, a lifestyle, and you begin to now attract, be attracted. This is how you increase. You begin to become attracted to the spirit realm. Please, just open your spirit and receive it. You begin to become attracted in the spiritual realm. Attracted by who, prophetess? See, the fact that you are still at that level, you're attracting demons and evil spirits. So that's why every time people come to church, they say, oh, it's a demon. Oh, it's a demon. You know, everything, oh, it's a demon. Oh, oh, deliver me, deliver me. Oh, yeah, I feel a demon right there. Yeah. Because you are at the same level. And so you're attracting spirits only at that level. Are you getting me today? So, Paul said, I know of a man a long time ago, about 15 years ago, and he was taken to a certain realm. So he was caught up into the third heaven. Are you getting me? Yeah. So which means that it is possible for you to, to ascend there. But if all you want to do is stay at earth brown or second level <laughs> warfare, all you will be attracting is demons at that level. And God is saying that I want you to be able to ascend to the spiritual things where you can attract, amen, spirits that is from a greater dimension. But to get to that greater dimension, you have to deal with these spirits at this dimension. You have to overcome the problems that are earthbound, overcome the problems that are in that second dimension, and then you can begin to soar into higher planes. Are you getting me tonight? Yeah, so, what does that mean, prophetess? That if you're going to increase in spiritual rank, then you need to praise God and then conquer the powers that be at this level and at the level. So, if you've never been able to successfully overcome lust, you are still earthbound. You are, you've never overcome fornication or immorality. You are still earthbound. You've never been able to overcome depression. You are still depressed. You are still, why me? Why? You are still, are you getting me? Yeah. So you have to be able to contend with these are low level problems. These are low level spiritual problems. Yeah. You have not even reached the boxer yet. You've not even reached the beast. You've not even reached the, the monsters of the second realm. You've not even me met Behemoth. You've not even met Leviathan. You are still just dealing with small little runner demons. So mo a lot of people have not been able to overcome them. Because why? You didn't do those things. You didn't renew your mind. You did not get these things out of you. You did not go to deliverance. Your deliverance was never complete. Yeah, yeah. Prophet, what do you mean? You were never finished. And now you are so high and lifted up for me to deliver some people. It's like scary movie number 10. Because you're going to be like, Prophet, you're going to de you're delivering me. You know, I am now deacon. You know, I'm now minister. <laughs> you know, I'm now usher, right? Prophet, you know, I'm your lead camera. <laughs> Do you get me? So people, you, you cannot deliver some people anymore because they feel as if they have graduated. But you never graduate until you have passed the test. Yes. Yes, Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Never graduate. Never let them graduate you until you have passed the exam. I would prefer to stay in a remedial class for one more day. <laughs> Learning how to count than to graduate, knowing that I do not know one plus one. Am I talking to someone tonight? So, amen. So, God is calling the church to that level. He's calling the church to that realm where you can break the, the boundary and you can break the, 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 what we will call the barrier of stagnation and, amen, of hindrance. And you begin to shoot and move up to the ranks in the spirit. I want to use one more example tonight before I pray for so many of you and those of you that are just coming in. Welcome tonight. I'm talking about how to increase in spiritual ranks. Praise God. Amen. And I'm going to get ready to pray for many of you in a few minutes. Praise God. I am getting ready to pray for many of you because I know that this word is important to you and I understand the importance of, importance of spiritual growth. If anything, listen to me and you may want to write this down. 
I've said this before, I'll say it again. Anything that fails to grow, eventually it's going to die. Anything that fails to grow, eventually it is going to die. Anything, if it's not dead already, it is on its way to death. Anything that there is no growth, that there's no increase, that there's no elevation, that there's no participation, but there's no movement, anything that is not growing and moving and increasing, and it's either dying or it's dead already. So God is saying to the church now, I want to move the church out of stagnation. And I want to move the church out of sterility, sterility where you cannot reproduce, where you cannot have anything, any children, you cannot be fruitful, you cannot give birth to any. I want to move you from there to productivity. But if the productivity is going to take place then, you need to increase your spiritual capacity, the ability to even to hold, to host God. That's heavy right there. I don't want to go too deep into that. But you need to now be able to increase your ability, your capacity, to host the Spirit of God. Where the Spirit of God is, there's liberty, right? Yeah. But you need to be able to open up. And there needs to be enough room in you for when the Spirit of God come upon you, for Him to have a habitation with you. A lot of people are born again Christians. You all know them. Born again for years. But they are still stuck in the same spiritual place or where they was from 40 years ago. And you're trying to communicate to them about how God is moving in your church and how God is moving with your pastor and how God is visibly appearing in our midst. And they're like, oh, really? You saw the magic they doing? <laughs> they begin to talk like, you know, I don't believe that's real. I believe that they're warlocks. I believe they're witches. I believe, because people are in a what? In a state of drought and stagnation. So the Spirit of God is telling me to tell you tonight, all of you, increase your spiritual capacity. When you begin to increase this, now, first thing is going to happen to you is you are going to go through the death walk, the death walk. To increase your spiritual capacity, you go through what is called what? The death walk, where all of a sudden you feel as if you're going to die. You feel, because Jesus said now in the book of Matthew, except a grain of wheat fall to the ground and die. It is of itself, it's not going to bring forth anything. So a seed is no good just being a seed. It has to die first. So it shrivels up and dries. When that seed shrivels up and dries, then you begin to see germination takes place. The radical shoots out and then that thing begins to shoot down and the seed begins to reproduce and it begins to grow and reproduce. But if it doesn't die, it will just always be known as one seed. So God is saying to you now, if you're going to get any level of increase in rank spiritually, you need to go through what is called a death, a, a death walk, where you begin to die, where you put your flesh, not this body, your flesh, your appetite, amen, for the things of this world, to death, and you begin to praise God, amen, begin to allow the Spirit of God to, to, to crucify some things in you. I know this is not a popular word. And I know some of you are probably going to click out and go and find a more exciting prophetic moment. But it's okay, those of you that are trying to increase in spiritual rank, stay with me. Because it's about to get gooder. Amen. <laughs> because God is trying to get the church in a place of increase. Not decrease. He's trying to get you in increase. But to increase, amen. He said, I think the things of this world, amen, the foolish things of this world, and I, 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 I use it, praise God, to bestow wisdom upon those that are wise, those that are prudent. So what is the Lord saying tonight then? You have to die. You have to go through a death. Your temptation is before you. But you said, I will not be tempted. Your, your desire is before you. I will not be given over to that desire. So it's running like Joseph and saying, I will not bow myself down to this. I will not know. I have to wait. I cannot give myself over to this. So it's in a state of, praise God, of spiritual debt. Even when it's time to eat, he's saying to you fast. Even when he's telling you it's time to sleep, you feel, oh Lord, I feel I need to wake up and go and pray. This is how to increase your spiritual rank. So it's now engaging in the obedience of the voice of God.
To increase in spiritual rank, it calls for obedience. So there's the death walk. There's, there's obedience to the voice of God. When he will give you, praise God, directions and give you instruction on some of the things that you need to do. Praise God, amen, even though it doesn't look famous or popular right then. So increasing in spiritual rank. So if you, you know these people that they call gladiators, right? Have you guys seen them before? So the gladiators, these are people, you know, you will, you will throw them in this uh, arena. arena. And they have to now, they have to take on something that is like huge. Or they will take on another gladiator. But they will probably be just given like one weapon. They have to pick a weapon of choice. And when they pick that weapon, that's all they will have to fight this person. And they're thrown in the middle of this arena. And only one person can walk out of that place. Are you getting this tonight? So it's, this is a test of their strength and their power and their ability to now defeat an enemy. Even if the person is their friend, they already know, in this arena right now, you are my enemy. Because why? I cannot just let you kill me. I have a reason to live. I have a future before me. And so this is what the Spirit of God is saying to the church tonight. Either you kill that enemy or you are going to be killed by that enemy. I don't know who I'm speaking to right now. Praise God, maybe this word is for somebody that's going through a test or a trial. And the Holy Spirit said, don't let the devil kill you. Increase your spiritual rank. That gladiator, that person that is in that arena, praise God, amen, is knowing that he's got to fight with all his might, with all his power. I, the, to the best man, may the best man win. May the person who was hungry the most for that authority, may he win. May the person, praise God, that is desperate the most to, to come out of that place alive, may he win. It ain't no secret weapon. You are told at the beginning, this machete, this rope, which one do you want? The person that pick a rope knows he better be able to swing that rope, whip that rope, grip that rope, tie up with that rope. Praise God. Are you getting me? Because the next person has what? Machete. And the Spirit of God is saying tonight, people of God, those of you that are just hearing my voice, those of you that are listening intently, praise God. Amen. God say, increase in rank. The person that come out of that ring alive, he is now considered the warrior. He is considered what? The champion. He is considered the, the, the noble, the, 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 the man of the power of the year. The gladiator of the year. Because why? He defeated the other opponent. So the Spirit of God is saying tonight, it's time for you to increase in spiritual rank. It's time for you to come up from where you are. Are my Zoomers still there? Are they still with us tonight? Praise God. Amen. Let me just hear from them. Let's give God a praise. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Praise God. So God bless you tonight. I didn't see them, but I heard them. So amen to God. They were there. Amen. Praise God. So they're still with us. Amen. I want to invite more of you Zoomers, Zoom warriors, to join us over there on YouTube, over here on YouTube. I'm getting ready to pray for you and pray for your families. Amen. In a minute. Praise God. Amen. God is increasing you and he wants to increase you in spiritual rank and power. Why is the increase necessary? Because if you stay at the same level too long, you're going to be defeated by powers and principalities and ruling spirits that exist at that level. And so Jesus said, amen, we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but we wrestle against what? Principalities and powers and rulers of the darkness of this present age. And so what am I saying today? If you get sick, if you become afflicted, if, the, if you, for whatever reason, the doctor say, this disease is, is on you, then you have to know now, wait a minute. I can't let this disease kill me. If you're going to defeat that disease, I don't care what it is, if it's arthritis, 
if it's pain in your body, if it's cancer, if it's any type of disease or sickness, you have to change your rank in order to defeat that powers. Because that spirit has come to you in an effort to kill you. Any adverse sickness, any, praise God, adverse type of disorder or dilemma, if it comes against you like that, it comes with an assignment to kill you. Then you'll hear the doctor say, it's aggressive. Oh my God. That word aggressive means this thing is multiplying. It's trying to grow itself at an alarming rate. But when you increase in spiritual rank, then all of a sudden you begin to discover ways to spiritually, tactically defeat that demon, that power that came against you. So the increase in spiritual rank, it means now that I have entered the arena of the spirit realm. And I am in that arena of the spirit realm. And in that arena of the spirit realm, I am known by my, I am known not only by my name, but by my nature. I have become now, praise God, I have become like my capacity have been increased based on the fact that they have heard my prayer. They have heard my constant prayer. They have seen my fasting, my sacrifice, that I afflicted his body. I brought the body under subjection. They have heard my worship. The, the powers in the realms of the spirit, praise God, be they spirits or angels or elders or thrones or dominions or any type of power that is existing in the spirit realm, have already discovered that, wait a minute, this woman is not an ordinary woman. This man there is not an ordinary man. I have discovered that they are praying day and night. They pray without ceasing. They pray without ceasing. They are constantly approaching the throne room of God and they are constantly in a place of worshiping. How do I increase my spiritual rank? I increase my spiritual rank by my prayer life. By the time I'm willing to dedicate, I want to stop praying at one minute. I want to stop praying at 10 minutes. But there's something inside of me that is compelling me to pray further. There's something inside of you when it's time to increase. Let me tell you when you know it's time to increase again. Let me go back to that. For one minute, praise God. I'm sorry if tears are coming out of my eye. But I'm, I'm feeling in my spirit like this word is at least, praise God, hallelujah, for several hundreds of you. Because you know within yourself, you can tell when God is trying to shift you. Oh, Holy Spirit. I say you can tell, you can know. Somebody better know tonight what I'm talking about. Because you can tell. Let me tell you how you know. Can I talk to you personally tonight? Can I talk to you personally tonight? You begin to feel a sense of restlessness. These are the physical things begin to happen. You feel restless. Like you feel restless. Some things that you used to joke about and laugh about before, you feel irritated. You feel irritated, like you, you just don't even want to play game. You don't want to, you just want to just say, ah, I just maybe need to just go in prayer right now. You begin to feel a sense of restlessness. You begin to feel like something on you, you don't even know what it is. There's also sometimes a loss in appetite. Like you just, greasy food is irritating you. Fried food, you want to smash it up. Well, I should say some people. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? You don't want to go to movies. You don't want to watch movies. You don't want to hear certain music. And this is because now this is a sign that the Lord God, Jehovah, the Spirit of God, Christ in you, is trying to shift your levels. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, is that good or what right there? Yeah. Y'all talk to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Tell me what some of these people are saying there on the screen. Somebody, anybody, what are they saying? Hallelujah. They're saying they're being blessed. Hmm? Some people are saying I'm being blessed. I'm being, praise God, I'm being increased. Uh-huh. Yes. yes go Lord, ahead. Latoya is saying go deeper. Jazz is saying, wow, oh my God, this is really good. Well, guess what? Minister Kim is, is overpowering you. <laughs> Go ahead, Minister Kim. Yes. South Florida, we are being blessed by this word. Oh, my God. And we are making a decree and a declaration right now that we are going to increase. Amen.
And we heard what you said, prophetess. It requires a death walk. Amen. It requires a sacrifice. Yes. And I'm telling you on the, on the board on YouTube, many people are agreeing. They're saying, oh, my God, prophetess, this is revelation. It is such a great revelation. Oh, my God. We have Marvin. She said, I am right there with you, prophetess. Emily is saying, thank God, oh, my God, for this word. Jean is saying, this is good. This is good, prophetess. Zakiah, oh, my God, is responding. We have Roy. Roy is saying, hallelujah. Glory to God. Shirley is saying, we are going to increase. Oh, my God. Miranda, as you were talking, she said, yes, prophetess. That is exactly what is happening to me as you were talking wow. about the spirit of God shifting and knowing when you're shifting and going to another level and he's taking you yes. oh my god yes. say thank you praise for god this teaching that i needed this thank you jesus thank you so much minister thank you Amen. they are there at the facility in um in south florida and amen yes ma'am praise god, yes, ma so, praise god. amen hallelujah Praise God. God bless you all, minister. Thank you all. And thank you all for your comments. Praise God. Amen. So God is so good and he is faithful and he is true to his word. So he said, if you seek me, you will find me. And whatsoever you ask in my name, I will do it for you. So if you're going to increase in spiritual rank, in spiritual power, in spiritual authority, if you're going to be able to move in dominion, and to be able to defeat any demon or any evil powers or even just move in the power of Christ, then you have to consider yourself then that you're going to go on what is called the believer's death walk. The believer's death walk. In other words, praise God, where you are willing to die to some things. Will you willing to what? Die to some things in this world. Jesus said, all is in the world, the lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh, the pride of life. These things are not of the Father. So then, what is of the Father then? The things of the Spirit. Praise God, the desiring spiritual gifts. Desiring spiritual realms. Desiring to enter into the realms of the Spirit. And to interact with the things of the Spirit. If all that's in the world is the lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life, and they're saying that these are not of God, then what is of God? I want to go and discover. I want to see. Can we take a trip tonight? Providence, can we fly? Can we soar? Can we go? Are we getting this? So to increase in spiritual rank, I mean I must die to some desires in this world. I must die to this flesh. I must die to just everything, everything, just evil, everything demonic, everything, everything that is of the darkness, everything that's from the gates of hell, everything that is just No, I must die to this. Are we agreeing tonight? As you begin to die to it, you come alive to the things of the Spirit of God. Your appetite for God becomes more increased. And you want to pray more. You want to worship. You want to fast. When he says fast, I want to fast. I want to increase my capacity. And then he begins to bestow on you different, uh, different ranks and different degrees of power. So that's why you will see um, not every prophet is a carrier of fire. Not every pastor can carry fire. Not every woman or man of God is carrying fire. No matter how they say, fire, 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 no fire come yet. No demons move, nothing is falling, nothing, nobody's experiencing, no change. Nobody's even shaking. Like, fire, I said, he say fire, he say fire, you be fire, where's fire? There's no fire because they are not being able to carry that. So there's a grace that is given to certain men and women of God that they come become what is called a carrier of the ram or rank of fire. So these are pastors, these are prophets, these are apostles, these are men and women of God, sons of God, that, that understand that they have to elevate to that level. They have to be trusted and entrusted. They have to be given the rights to enter. So there's something that is called legal rights. So there's a rites of passage, and they've been given that. The right to enter a certain domain, a right to enter a certain level. So when we are given that right, and you enter it, then you begin, when you come back out of that realm, 
you realize that you would move a rank up. So most people go and they cannot defeat anything in the ramps. They cannot deal content with any beasts or any creatures. They cannot, they cannot say that I've done this, I've defeated that. So their rank remains the same. If you're still dreaming that you're running from something and you can't see it, you are still at the same level. If you're still dreaming that you're being shot at and killed and you're being, if you're still being overtaken every night by spiritual spouse, your rank is still low. I'm not trying to say that you may not be attacked at some point in time. You will be attacked. But you will know that you will finish that demon right there. You will crank up and finish that demon. <laughs> but if you're still being defeated by it, that means you're still at a level where the Spirit of God is trying to call you to change. Are you understanding what I'm saying? So you can tell you have shifted right even by some things that come to visit you. You'll even notice that the demon that, or the spirit that came to visit or attack you it's not the same ones that was attacking you 10 years ago or two weeks ago. You can tell you have shift right. So people get scared. They say, this one, one terrible thing came at me. No, that's showing you, you've obviously shifted your rank. <laughs> Come on, somebody. You are going to sit up all night with a fork and a knife in your hand until daybreak. No, go to sleep. Amen. It means you have now accomplished something. So the enemy will attack you sometimes based on the rank you are and the level you are. So there are levels, there are there are realms, there are dimensions. Amen. So, you know, we once shared that life is lived in levels, experience in stages, but it's established on a dimension. So life is lived on levels, established in stages. Amen. But it, it is what it is it, it, um, lived at levels, experience in stages. But it is established when you come into a dimension. And when you come into that dimension, you will know you've come into a dimension because nothing in that dimension could stop you. Yeah. When you've come into an established place, it means you overcame some things. You are now in control. You are not being controlled. You are in control. So by the Spirit of God, you know things. You can hear by the spirit, you know, you can hear, you, 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 you hear things, you know things just like that. You know, somebody said to me the other day, well, you know, what is the purpose of calling out people's names? And I said, when you have been given that ability to do that, praise God, amen, and you are able, able to now just not call a name, praise God, whether the person is absent or present, but to know by the spirit of God what that exactly was going on in that person's life, you know it can only be God or, yeah. you know, so it's obviously that person is moving in a particular rank or realm. But not the calling the name is not where the power is, you know. The calling the name, me calling out people's names, is not necessarily where the, it's no glory to me. And it's no glory to the person because the person know their name. But where does the power come in? Where is the benefit? Is the fact that I can tell you what you have gone through or what you've come through where you are now, but the greatest power is where I can change what has been going on in your life and prophesy to you where God is taking you. Do you understand what I'm saying? And it come to pass. And it happened. <laughs> I'm sure you are understanding what I'm saying. So people, anyone can call a name, a psychic can call somebody name, a witch can call your name, but can that witch change your spiritual condition? Can they change the place where you are to shift you to another realm? Can they catapult you in the realms of the spirit to interact with your, with your future and cause your change to take place? And if people cannot do that, tell them, leave your good name alone. <laughs> are we getting it? So the power and the purpose is not in a prophet calling your name. It's not a me saying, hey, your name is Jane Doe, you know, hey, you live through Timbuktu, hey. You know, no, that's not just the power there. The power is, yes, I can see that. But now I see also in the realm of the spirit, I can, con I can, oh, Jesus, love of my soul. I can bring you to the place in the spirit to contend with that powers of your father's house, of your mother's house, and cause them to lose your chains, to lose your blessing. To lose every goods they stole from you and then take it back 
in the name of Jesus Christ and restore you to the place where you're supposed to be in God. That's where power come in. That's where the true rank come in. Where we can shift things around for your good. Yeah. Where things can actually take place that you can say truly this is the, stand, the hand of God. This is the finger of God. This is the will of God concerning me. When somebody has the power and the ability to come into your life and to carry you and cause you to ascend in the realms of the spirit and you deal with that generational curse just talking about oh i see a generational curse i see a generational curse you're under generational curse oh my god you're under generational curse it's generational oh my god it's ancestral i see your problem it is ancestral this perverse spirit this perversion is an hey i don't want to know that now when i finish telling you that do i have the rank and the spiritual ability to carry you and the cause you i don't care if you pass out on that floor i don't care if you shake like a freight tree i want to know when i am finished with you when the spirit of god is finished with you that you've entered the arena of the spirit and you took captivity captive and took the keys from that devil that had you under that bondage for so long that had you in poverty for so long that had your family in sickness and disease for so long Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's how I know now. This person is carrying ranks and power. They were able to, I said to the, somebody the other day, I said, huh? I said, what is wrong with you? He said, my leg, my back is in pain. I said, let me see your leg. When I look, as soon as I see back pain like that, how long has this been going on? For a long, long time. I say, oh, something is wrong here. Oh, I look at the leg, I say, What's wrong with your leg? Why are you walking like that? They say, I don't know. I said, I guarantee you your back is in pain 100%. So watch now. In the ranks of the spirit, everybody cannot repair that. Not even some doctors are prepared to take a chance to prepare a short and long leg. Because why? They can cripple the person for life. Because the person, if they're over the age of 17 or 18A, is like, don't just continue to wobble. Continue to live in a world. But a spiritual rank will a- accomplish, amen, what the flesh could not do. It can do it in a matter of just seconds. Because why? The person is filled with the Holy Spirit. And it's Christ in them. It's the Spirit of God in them. And they've already practiced this. They've already been to this arena. We've been to where? The arena. We've been to the arena. We have played in the stadium before. We have prayed in the stadium before. We have run the track. We have been a gladiator against a gladiator. So to move this leg from here, I have already seen Jesus do this one before. So I've seen Jesus do this one. So when I ascend in prayer, I already see it. I saw Jesus tell to the man, stretch out your widow hand. And the Bible said the man stretched out his hand and the hand became even with the next hand. Then he told another one, rise. He was crippled. Legs was like this. He said, rise, take up your bed and walk. So the person that has increased in spiritual ranks, they have been to the place before in the realms of the spirit. They have seen the way that people are moving and functioning in that realm. We see the way Peter moved. We see the way Paul moved. We see the way Elijah moved. We see the way Elisha moved. We see the way, praise God, amen. We study them. So when we call fire, we understand we're not talking about match and candlesticks right now. <laughs> we're talking about God who is consuming fire. And he will consume the problem and spit back out the results. Tonight, wherever you are, under the sound of my voice, I pray that I have helped you. I pray that I have blessed you. You can just give God a mighty praise wherever you are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So God is looking forward to seeing you. God is looking forward to seeing me. Yes. The Spirit of God is looking forward to seeing you in the realms of the Spirit. So to go, you need to increase your capacity, your ability to receive from Him. Amen. Your instructions to receive from Him or from His servants. And then to ascend to that place where he is. 
And you do this through what? Consistent prayer. Consecration before the Lord is another point that I give you. Amen. Consecrating, living a consecration life. A consecrated life. And this does not happen overnight, by the way. So people who just jump up one day and say, I'm a prophet, oh, I don't know. No, because why? To come to a certain rank and level, you have to go through a dead walk. You have to go through, amen, sanctification. Praise God, you have to go through consecration. A light, and it can take a very long time in some cases. It's no popcorn, amen. Praise God, is a lifestyle of dedication and commitment to the spirit of God, to the voice of God. It takes obedience. It takes sacrifice. Amen. So to God be all the glory tonight. I'm going to stop right there. Praise God in the inches of time. Praise God. Amen. I'm going to stop right there for tonight. I hope that I've been a blessing to all of you. Praise God. I hope that you were able to receive. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. More of this, amen, is coming to you. Praise God. Amen. You can go on to, if those of you that are watching us all over the world, praise God. Amen. You can, amen, receive more teaching, more inspiration, more revelation from the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Bible College, Maddie Knowledge Bible College is available, amen, to everyone, amen, who is interested in growing and learning. So you can come on board and grow and learn with us. Amen. I want to pray for you tonight before we go. Amen. I see so many of you are giving. Praise God. But I want to I want to just give you that opportunity to give before we, we, we close in a word of prayer. I see so many people are being, amen, lifted. So many people, I see many of you, praise God, you praise God, giving God praise for the word and the teaching. Praise God. Amen. The Bible said, do not be ignorant concerning Satan's devices. Know what the will of God is. Amen. Ignorance is the night of the mind. In other words, people that are ignorant, you know, they can't, they are in a dark place. No matter how you try to fight with some people, they will not never get it. But if you have light, praise God, you know, the word of God says God is light and in him there is no darkness. Praise God. Amen. If you get light, light is not just illumination and revelation, but light represents the fire of God. Praise his name. Praise God. Amen. Light is, the, is God himself. He is fire. He is light. Amen. He is a, a he's, he brings illumination. He brings revelation. He is also truth. That's what light and fire represents. It will tell you what you have made out of whether you're plastic or whether you're not. Fire will tell you whether you're plastic or not. Praise God. Amen. So that's why I told you a few days ago. I said it is what? Amen. But, but, I mean, I, I begin to talk about so much things corrosive, acidic. <laughs> Erosive, amen. All of this volcanic, huh? Forensic. Forensic, amen. It is sometimes so, so deep, but yet it is in simplicity that even a child can understand. Everyone who's given tonight, may the Lord bless you. I see many of you are sowing your seeds, amen. Praise God. I believe that God is going to bless you and increase you a thousand times so much more. Praise God. Amen. I'm getting ready to pray for you, so please don't leave. Stay with us tonight for the next two minutes. I want to pray for you and bless you before you go. Praise God. Amen. The Word of God is powerful and is quick and is sharper than any two-edged sword, passing even dividing a son of the soul and spirit. I normally pray a blessing over people, all of, all of you that give. So I want to pray that blessing also. Praise God. Bless all of you that are sowing. All the information is on the screen on the screen. Bless you, Calvin. Bless you, Cleante. Bless you, Rita. Bless you, Anita. Bless you, Queenie. Bless all of you tonight. Amen. Bless all of you, Apostolic Warrior. Praise God. Amen. Bless all of you tonight. Everyone that's giving, everyone that's sowing, may God bless you. Praise God. Remember that everything you sow and during this month here of March, we are sowing into our missions, amen. And yes, you heard it right. We are going on a mission for the king, amen. And we're going to be in Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia, to be exact. Praise God, amen. Uh, March 29th to the 31st, amen, at the Signia by Hilton, amen, hotel right there in Atlanta, Georgia. Praise God. All the information is on our screen. I want to invite you to, to register for that revival crusade is going to be in Georgia. And people are coming from all over the world. All over the world. Thank you, praise God, Alida. Amen. Sowing into the missions tonight. Praise God. Thank you, Red, for sowing into the missions tonight. All of you that are sowing, amen. Coffee all the way. Everyone who's sowing in tonight, whatever you're sowing, big or small. Amen. Skinny or tall. 
whatever you're sowing, let's let the Lord bless it tonight. Amen. Bless Johnson, sowing into the missions tonight. Amen. God bless all of you. Continue to give. Amen. Some of you need to just make a big sacrificial seed. Amen. And sow that thousand dollars or more. The word of God says, he that winneth souls is wise. I also believe that there's a wise way to win souls. Amen. So thank you. People are also sowing on Cash App. People are sowing on Zelle, PayPal. Amen. Praise God. Amen. God bless all of you tonight. God bless you, Megan. Amen. For your mission seed. Hallelujah. All of you that are sowing tonight. Amen. Will not thank you for sowing tonight. Praise God. More of you can continue to sow. Amen. Is anyone in the call center? Do we know tonight? Is anyone in the call center tonight? Maybe somebody's there that can take calls in the call center. Praise God. If you want to give by the call center, you can do it. Naomi, bless you tonight. All of you that are sowing, may God bless you. Praise God. All over the world, people are sowing and giving tonight. May the Lord increase you, increase you a thousand times. Rachel, everybody who's giving, Father, we thank you. Shantaramavas for the Bodford family tonight. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, God, for blessing everyone, Lewis family. Bless them by the blood. Bless them in the mighty name of Jesus. Let them be increased a thousand times, a million, so many more. May the seed that you give it on this altar possess the gates of your enemy. Bless the Kongs family tonight in Jesus Christ's mighty name. So let's get ready to pray. Those of you that are giving, you can continue to give. Praise God. Amen. Those of you that are sowing, continue to sow. God is going to bless you. He loves a cheerful giver. Praise God. And I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that God is, you're going to see increase because as you give, Praise God. There's, it's an automatic thing that happens. It's a part of the kingdom. Giving also is a part of the kingdom of God. So I gave you some principles early that things that are part of the kingdom. Amen. The culture of the kingdom is also sowing and reaping. It's a part of our culture, our kingdom culture. Praise God. Amen. And bless you, Rico. All of you that are giving tonight, I am so proud of you. Praise God. Bless the Jones family tonight. Father, bless them. Wherever your families are, I want to begin to pray. Praise God. Amen. Bless the Knowles family. Praise God. I believe that one word from God can change your life forever. And whenever God uses his servants, his prophets, or anyone, a man, a set man, a woman of God, a true vassal, to pray for you and to bless you, I believe that you should see, praise God, a, a harvest. I believe that you should see what an instant harvest. If you're sick, be healed tonight. If there's sickness in your body, I curse it to the root. I command that sickness to die. I command that sickness to cease. Somebody begin to pray in the spirit. Praise God as these people are giving tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. I want to pray for them. Praise God. Amen. And then I want to, I don't know if I can release the Zoomers. Praise God. I don't know. Do I, can I just release them? They're going to go on quickly to YouTube as I pray this prayer because I want to call out some of their family names. So I want to release them. Praise God. Amen. I want to release the Zoomers to go over to YouTube because I want to call some of their, their family names out. I feel like God is about to work a supernatural miracle in their lives. I feel like there's going to be a turnaround. Praise God for people. I believe that in the ranks, are, they're going to be increased in the realms of the Spirit, in the ranks of the Spirit. When they begin to pray and begin to ascend in the, the realm of the Spirit, they will begin to encounter, praise God, amen, the, 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 the angelic beings or the prophets of all, or praise God, the powers of, of God that will in cause them to begin to be, take on fortification in the realm of the Spirit, praise God. So as we pray this right now, I'm believing them to quickly jump over here into YouTube. Praise God, come over quickly, Zoomers, go quickly to YouTube, amen, as we pray tonight. I'm believing God for something to happen in your life, something to change, something to turn around. Jabraheta labasata, rosabrakata labasata, rabakata labasata, randerebo saprakanderebosa. In the mighty name of Jesus, rolobo shabanda labasata, roko saprakata labasete, rakata labasata labasata, rata labasanda labakanda, rosabakata labasate, roko shabata labasaya, rasa. 
Somebody lift your voice and pray. Shakata. Rosa banda raba sata raba sa. Rosa bakata la barite de deho. Rosa poho sata raba. Rosa tana ba sopra. Rosa prehete le bosa. Rosa tana mando raba kosha. Raba tana ba soto. Renda le bosa ya. Jaba baba baba kure biki tene biki raba kara baba kara baba kara baba. Raba sa baba baba sa baba 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 sa. Raba baka tana ba sa tana ba goro sa ta. Somebody pray with power. Pray with power that your rank be increased. Uh, that the spirit of hindrance be removed from your life. Uh, that every spirit that block you. Uh, Remove every hindrance, you spirit of hindrance, be removed. You spirit of stagnation, be destroyed in the name of Jesus. You spirit of stagnation, be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Zabakata bakata bakata nabaka, rakata nabakata nabakata, rakata nabakata nabasa, rata nabakata nabasata, rata nabasata nabasata, rasa nabakata nabasa, rasa nabakata naba, rasa nabakata naha, rabaka nabaka nabaka, raka nabaka nabaka nabaha, rasa nabara bara basata, raka nabasata basala, rusata ata. Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, every sickness, every disease, we increase in spiritual rank and we take rakato saya. We take authority over you. We take divine authority over you. Every demon of restriction, every demon of blockage, we take authority over you. Every spirit of darkness, Rakarabasata, be loose from your evil assignment. Be loose from your evil assignment. Be loose from your evil assignment. Oh, the people of God, be loose, I say, in the name of Jesus. Be loose in the name of Jesus. Be loose in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of darkness, you powers of darkness, from the gates of hell, I loose you in the name of Jesus Christ. I loose you from the people of God. I command your powers to fail. I command your powers to fail. Be loose from your diabolical. In the name of Jesus, every sickness be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Be destroyed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Be destroyed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Every sickness, every disease, every pain, every disorder, every cancer, be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, every evil spirit fighting against your purpose, fighting against your purpose, Fighting against your abilities, fighting against your spirituality, fighting against your destinies, fighting against your wealth, fighting against your health, fighting against your family, fighting against your children, fighting against your marriage, fighting you any powers. Be destroyed now. Be destroyed now. Be diminished now. In the mighty name of Jesus. 
every wicked spirit you spirit of witches you spirit of witchcraft you spirit of be destroyed fire the holy ghost somebody shot fire seven times I release the fire of God against every adversary. Everyone who is an enemy of you is an enemy of God. May you break through in the name of Jesus Christ. I said, may you break through in the name of Jesus Christ. May this be your day of breaking through in the name of Jesus. May your answer come quickly in the name of Jesus. May your case be settled in the name of Jesus. I prophesy that your case is settled. That your dilemma is no more. That your dilemma is dissolved. Every one of you that are believing God to intervene in your affairs, I increase you tonight. Be increased in your ranks. Be increased in the realm of the spirit. Be increased in the things of prayer. Be increased in the ability to dream dreams and see visions. Be increased in the ranks. In the mighty name of Jesus. May the spirit of God increase you. Increase your capacity. Increase your availability. Increase your possibility. Increase what you are able to carry, what you are able to carry and what you are able to handle. Increase what you are able to do. Increase what you are willing to, what you are able to accomplish. Not by might, not by power, but by the Spirit, said the Lord. He said, not by your might, not by your power, but by my Spirit, said the Lord. So may God increase you a thousand times, one million, so many more. May he increase you a thousand times, one million more. May your seed possess the gates of your enemies. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. I see in the realm of the spirit, chains are breaking off of people. I see that spirit that used to restrict some of you. I see that spirit being rendered powerless. Being rendered what? Powerless. I see many of you being healed right now. Will you receive the touch of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit? Will you receive the touch of the Lord by the power of the Holy Spirit? Every sickness that's in your body, I command it to die. I command it to cease in Jesus' name. Rabbi Mama said, let your faith be increased, but let your rank, your power, your authority, your dominion, your sphere of influence be increased in the mighty name of Jesus. I see this is happening all over the world. I see this happening everywhere right now. Those of you that were weak, God said, you are strong. He said, let the weak say, I am strong. And those of you that were poor, he said, let the poor say, I am rich. I am rich. I am rich. May he increase you in the name of Jesus. One thousand times a million. So many more. May your seed possess the gates of them that hate you. He said, man shall pour into your bosom. You shall be increased. You shall be increased. You shall overrun. You shall increase. You will know that you have been increased because you will tell. Your dreams will begin to change. How do I know prophetess? But I am increasing in ranks. First, I told you. First, I told you that there are different physical signs. You begin to feel a sense of miserable, unrestlessness, uncomfortability. But then how do you know when you really increase? Your desire, your appetite change. The things you once desired, don't desire it anymore. You become a prayer warrior, an intercessor, a worshiper. You are after the things of God. You don't live in doubt and fear. You live in hope. You live in hope. And even though you're not physically prospering, you feel as your soul is prospering. You want to pray more. You want to serve more. You want to do more. You want to give more. These are signs that you will know. Your dreams will also change. Your dreams will begin to change. Your visions will begin to change. Your paradigm changes. You see things different. Your friends will even change. You begin to say no to some people. And then you say yes to others. Because everything in you begins to come in divine alignment. Doors will begin to open before you. Demons that was once tormenting you. The demons say, ah, let's not bother with this one. Their rank have changed. <laughs> Your rank has changed. Father, I thank you tonight. There's somebody, you're watching me. Your name is Emily. And the Lord said, tell you tonight. He said, I've changed your rank. I've changed your rank for the sole purpose 
praise God, in the last several months, three people have died in your family. Three people have died. You've gone to like three funerals. And you're asking God, what is this? What is this? Your name is Emily. And I hear the Lord say, tell you tonight, do not be discouraged. Do not be disturbed. Do not be dismayed. God said, I will keep you. Because even you right now, you're afraid. Because you're saying, God, who's next? I come against that spirit of death tonight. Your name is Emily. You're watching me, praise God. And I hear the Lord say, tell you. Do not be afraid and do not worry about that. Tonight I have come to stop this avenger. I have come to stop this spirit. So I rebuke it in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, I set you free. I deliver you. I'm also saying like another name. I don't know which Sheffield. Sheffield. Praise God. Amen. Sheffield. Be delivered in the name of Jesus. God is touching you right now. Praise God in your stomach. Praise God in your abdomen area. I command that pain. I command that, that problem that keeps going and coming, going and coming. Praise God. I command it to go in the name of Jesus Christ. I take supreme and divine authority over you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Rosh Karabasa. In the name of Jesus. Praise God. I see someone praying for Doris. Doris, Doris, Rababa Shapakatala Basata, Doris, Kanabakaraba Katabasata. And I see this person, praise God, Lanaba Satanabaka, also being afflicted in their body. And the concern is that this person has is that they feel as though they are going to pass soon. Praise God. And I see the family, praise God, being in a state of perpetual, in, in a state of perplexity. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Because it's like this person got sick and then all of a sudden it's like, you know, one thing after the other. And it's like the enemy wants to move them. Praise God. Amen. You're praying for that person tonight, but the name is like Doris or Doris. Praise God. God said, I love you tonight. I, I deliver you out of all of your trouble, out of all your pains, out of all your woes. Praise God. Rabba karabba karabba sata. Rabba karabba katabba sata. There's someone you're praying for a man, his name is Harry. It looks like Harry or Harold. Harry is He's had a procedure. Praise God. Amen. A procedure done to his body. Praise God. I don't know if this is something that he had like a year ago, but I saw like a something, an incision in the body. Praise God. And I'm seeing this in the realm of the prophetic tonight. Please bear with me, people of God. Amen. But I'm seeing the Lord saying, amen, that this, whatever happened, whatever they went in to do, it was not resolved. And now it's like the enemy is trying to bring a reoccurrence on this man. Praise God. I'm seeing the realm of spirit because I'm seeing, amen, uh, gray hair. And I'm seeing where the body is afflicted and it's in pain. Praise God. But if you, that's praying for Harry, if you would have faith in God tonight, and just touch, praise God, your body. I believe that the, the Spirit of God, praise God, will deliver that man tonight. Praise God, because I'm seeing an incision in, like about a year ago. But the, in, the, the, the problem was not resolved. And it's almost like there's a fear that this thing has to be repeated again. I speak to his life. I speak to his body. I curse you, Satan. Loose him in the name of Jesus Christ. Let him be delivered. Let him be set free. By the blood of Jesus Christ. Zimekitalamasopokosa. In the name of Jesus. Karamakatabasana. See somebody by the name of Ken. God is also delivering you tonight. Be delivered and be set free out of every attack of the enemy. God said, I want you to come to the place where I am. God has just come dragging you. Somebody said, I don't know what's going on. God is just provoking you. The Spirit of God is provoking you to come to the next level. Praise God. The enemy is attacking you. And God has said, I want to deliver you. I want to rescue you. The attack is not unto death. Praise God. Can you hear me tonight? The attack is not unto death. There's somebody, your name is Edith. Praise God. Amen. There's something related to you. It's like something to do with Jack. Jake or Jake's or Jukes. Praise God. Amen. Your name is Edith. Praise God. Tonight, it seems like wherever you're hearing me, you're putting on something like floral. 
It has like flowers, a lot of small flowers in it. You have your hair tied. Praise God, the front of the hair is out, but the hair is like something is tied on it. Praise God, because you're wondering, if she's talking to me, is she talking, I am talking to you. In the name of Jesus, I break the curse from your life. Praise God from your family. I break it in the name of Jesus. I destroy it. Praise God. Be loose from the chains of bondage. Be loose from the fetters. Be loose from the cord. Every curse that came down to your family, these are not your own. These are not your own. I kill that snake. I'm seeing you see movement in your body and in your stomach and also in your back. There's also something wrong with your leg. Praise God. An injury. Praise God. And I hear the Lord said, I am fixing everything. Praise God, I, I kill that serpent in your body. I command you to be healed now. Be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody give God praise. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Well, to God be all the glory tonight. Amen. I'm not out of words. I'm not out of the anointing. I'm just out of time. Praise God. But what a powerful time we've had. Amen. I know many of you can testify what a powerful time we've had. Praise God to God be the glory. Thanks to all of you that stayed with us tonight and that, praise God, participated in this prophetic moment. Amen. God says, I want to increase your spiritual rank. I want to increase you from the low place where you are. And I want to carry you to a higher place in the realms of the spirit where you accomplish in great and mighty things in the spirit. Where you, the devil is not still defeating you and beating you. I don't care if it's a toothache. I don't care if it's a toe ache. You are to curse that devil and say, loose in the name of Jesus and get out of my life and go. Praise God. Amen. So we're looking forward to seeing you. Remember, Wednesday, Fridays, Sundays are great days to be in there for MI Global. It's a great time to come and fellowship with us. Amen. Bring your entire family. This coming weekend is going to be powerful. Friday night is going to be powerful. Sunday is going to be powerful. Don't miss it for anything in the world. And then, of course, we want you to come and be with us in Georgia. Praise God. March 29th to the 31st. There are still some seats left. You can get in on this one. It's powerful. Amen. We've opened it up and we've made it ev even easier for more people to be able to get in. So I am told that's what they did on today. So this is your good opportunity to get in while it's able and it's available March 29th to the 31st at the at, at the, or the Signia by Hilton Hotel is going to be a miracle crusade. It's going to be deliverance like you've never seen before. Amen. I promise you, you will not leave the same way you came in. Praise God. Amen. There are some special sessions. In fact, we start Friday morning, March 29th, that morning at 10 a.m. And then we go at 6.30. We're starting earlier than we normally start because we want to make sure that we get to minister according to the ability that God has given to us. And we want to touch as many of you as we can. Some people said, oh my goodness, I cannot wait for you all to come to Georgia. Well, here we come. Amen. And we hope to see you there. It's going to be powerful. People are coming from all over the world as far as the UK, as far as um, the Netherlands. People are coming from Australia. People are coming from all over the Caribbean, St. Lucia. People are coming from St. Vincent. People are coming from Jamaica, Bahamas, everywhere. People are going to be there because of God's presence. It's going to be the apostle and I. Look forward to seeing you. Amen. Well, God bless you all tonight. Amen. I love you. I was glad for this opportunity. Don't forget, tune in tomorrow. Amen. Tune in tomorrow morning. Praise God. Amen. There will be another part to what the Lord has been speaking tonight on, uh, praise God, increasing in spiritual rank. So don't miss it. Amen. Those of you that are part of the Zoom prayer, the Zoom prayer is a live Zoom prayer at 6 a.m. And then, amen, after that, um, we also have a broadcast at 8 a.m. Will you do me a favor? Will you set your clocks from now so that you don't miss it? There are many of you, you need to hear the rest of this teaching. Amen. And so I will be with you tomorrow morning. By the and then Friday night, during our prophetic revival service is going to be powerful. Hallelujah. Amen. We love you with the love of the Lord. And we praise God for all of you. Amen. Be blessed. Amen. As you go forward tonight. Amen. God be with you. May he keep you. Praise God. Under the shadow of his wings. Praise God. May tonight, may you enter the realms. And may you soar. And may you experience and encounter 
great things of the Lord. Amen. I love you. Until next time, shalom. God bless you on behalf of my husband. I love you. war zone back there even here yes, am i talking prophet. to you yes prophet yes. what does 1979 means that's the year i was born that's the year you was born prophesy and there was an older woman but this is where i see now because the person is already in the grave and the top of the tombstone is not square the top of the tombstone is round it's oval shape do you know what i'm talking about it's my grandmother your grandmother it's Tony. I see someone being became with the letter D. D. Zaka Ndalabasata. Margaret Delson, my sister. Your sister Delson. Shaba Ndalabasata. And the Lord said, the thing that has been happening in your life and in your body, called Shata Ndalabasata, is like you say, something is not right. Like something is wrong. I don't know who was working around someplace that deal with food. That deal with food. Jeffrey, Anthony, the Tony. Okay, good. That's the person I want. Woo! That's that's why you get Miss Atlanta. Get ready, Atlanta, get ready. Hallelujah, make your reservations, meet us there. It's going to be awesome. God, hallelujah, will be in the house. It's going to be a powerful move of God. Atlanta, March 29th, 38th, 31st. And who, uh, who know how more days it may go on after that? <laughs>